guys. All right, so uh, we have our door, we have our window, we have our little room here. So let me just go over a couple of tools that I haven't gone over with. I was looking at them and you know, pretty much I was looking at what I haven't showed you. Light everything. Make sure everything's selected. And as you can see, everything's selected. And we're going to go ahead and hit the rotate tool. Uh, it pretty much works with the axis by colors. Blue, uh, it's rotate like sideways, see like that. That's what it's going to do. Now, if you have uh, on the Lexus, let's, let's do the green one since that's what came up. Um, if you want to do it on the green axis, it's going to rotate that way. And then the red one will rotate like that. So to rotate it, I'm going to rotate it towards the red axis. I'm going to wait till it's blue. Pick an endpoint first. And here's the thing. Uh, you can put at an angle. Uh, at the bottom, you can type it once you select it. Usually, I select it this at a, at the red axis or the green one, whatever, as long as it's on a straight one. Whatever, I can do the green one. All right, so here you see. See how there you have the angles at the bottom. I'm going to rotate this from here. So what is that, 90 degrees? So I can move it to the... I can, it'll, it can, if you hover it, it'll tell you right axis and move it to that. But what I usually do is I just type it just to make sure. 90, I'll type 90, and it says at the bottom angle, and you hit enter, and there you have it. Uh, you rotate it at 90 degrees. Right. Now another thing, say um, you have more things in this uh, model, and you just want this this room, uh, and see how it. it have more things here it could be a little harder to select everything you'll see what I mean later if when you're working with a lot of things so this is very easy you know you just select everything and let's make this a component uh, that's the next thing we have now that no component now you can select it now it's ready to select since everything's selected you have everything selected that you want to make a component and let's go on and hit make component now you can give it a name I'm not gonna bother with that in the description and just hit create and now look what happens. Now everything is one. I mean, no more line and and nothing. So now it's one. It's like block. One object. See? So you're escaping. You just one click, and it's one object. That's what pretty much a component is. Um, so if you want to add a component, for example, you gotta double click it, and then. You can, you know, work with it. Uh, and to exit the component, you just double click outside of it. And it's a component again. And if you want to not make, you know, if you change your mind about making it a component, you could explode it. And uh, that's back to what it was before. It's no, no longer a component. And that's the explode command. Uh, Okay, so let's see. Another thing I want to go over with you guys is the paint bucket. Uh, you can hit B on your keyboard. Let's go and hit the paint bucket. All right, so you get um, you know a list of colors, and if you click colors, you get a whole bunch of cool things here that you can work with. Asphalt and concrete. You get a whole bunch of materials: lines, brick, carpet. Uh, fencing, metal, you can do tiles, wood, water, translucent, which is pretty much glass and water, something you can see through, stone, all kinds of cool things. So SketchUp does give you a lot of cool materials by default loaded with the program. You can uh, download more as plugins, uh, you know, if you're happy with what they have or, or if what you have is uh, not included, I don't know. Um, it works with Photoshop and paint programs. You know what this is? This is like the picket tool. It you know, like samples whatever color you have selected. You just click that, and, and that's the base all color, which is white on one side and, and the blue on the other side. So now so let's let's make the let's make the front wall. Uh, I don't know. We can make it. Let's make it bricks. So we can go ahead and select these bricks. And now with the bucket, hit there, and you have bricks there. Very cool. 
and um, let's see. Now you can edit that. You go here to edit. And you can change. I think yeah, you can change the color of the bricks. Make them dark bricks. Might look a little more realistic. And see how each brick has has its own measurement. You can change that in as well. And uh, you can make it. Let's let's see what happens. Let's make it bigger. See how it makes it bigger. So you can play with that and make it to your liking. Uh, I think they give you whatever they feel is the most realistic look. Which is mostly kind of there. Oops. Okay. And you can play around with that to whatever you want. Um, and, you know, let me just do a basic window. You know, I'm not going to do a mullions and anything into it. Let's just do a. I'm just going to make a rectangle and put it here just so you can see what it, what it is like to see through. Which is translucent. Let's go to translucent and we can use, let's see, which one is. Uh, I'll use this one, glass blue, and then go ahead and send, see how you can see through. That's the basic idea of a window. And, and uh, yeah, I guess um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, with the basic other basic commands that or tools that I wanted to show you guys uh, for the floor, let's do one more with the floor. Let's make the floor. Let's put a carpet on the floor. I don't know. I don't really like any of these, but uh, let's do this one. And there you have your little carpet. And uh, and there you have it. And see what I was saying before was say you get lost in here, you like can't get out of it because you're like in the middle of a wall, you're stuck. You hit zoom extends and it shows you everything that you built on the full screen and gets you out of it. So there you have your little room and it has some materials and looks a lot nicer. All right, guys, and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial.